Hello everyone, my name is Joel Fernandez Valdez from BSE Eric A. So today I am going to discuss the cumulative distribution function for continuous random variables. So without further ado, let's begin. So for this topic, I am going to use the example number 3. So example number 3, the time until a chemical reaction is complete in milliseconds is approximately by the cumulative distribution function. So the, the question is, what is the probability that a reaction completes within 200 milliseconds? So the first thing that we need to do is to know the given. So fx is equals to 0, x less than 0, and 1 minus e raised to negative 0 0.01 x, 0 less than or equal to x. So, given na yung given. Given na given na hanap. So, ang hinahanap dito is yung probability na yung reaction eh, makukompleto within 200 milliseconds. So, in this kind of problem, ang gagamitin natin is yung differentiation. 1 by 1, we will differentiate it. So, the formula that we will use for fx is derivative of fx over dx. And, and given na yung fx, given na yung fx na 0, x is less than 0. Therefore, yung derivative ng so, for the derivative of 1 minus e raised to negative 0.01x is the derivative of 1 over dx minus d e raised to negative 0.01x over dx na magiging e raised to u du na magiging derivative niya is e raised negative e raised to negative 0, 0 0.01 and for the derivative u which is negative 0 0.01 x is derivative yun na, derivative of zero, negative 0 0.01 x and the answer would be negative e raised to negative 0.01x multiplied by 0.01. So, pagka pinag-multiply natin to, ang magiging answer na natin is 0... Wait. Uh, so, pagka pinag-multiply na nga natin itong dalawa, yan. Kasi na dalawa negative, magiging positive na siya. So, 0.01 e raised to 0 .0, negative 0.01x. So, ito na gagamitin natin for, for ano, 1 minus e raised to negative 0.01x. Substitute na natin yun. So, ito na gagamitin natin. 0 0.01 e raised to negative 0.01x for 0 less than or equal to x. So, ngayon, nakuha na natin yung para dyan. Makukuha na natin yung probability kasi gagamitin natin yan eh. So, P, X, P, probability X less than 200 is equals to function. Wait, 200 is equals to 1 minus E raised to negative 0.01. Tapos yung X natin is 200. So, mul sa multiply yun sa 200. So, x is equals to 200. Therefore, ang magiging sagot na natin is 1 minus e raised to negative 2. So, ang makakuha nating probability for x less than 200 is 0 0.86 for 7. So, ito na yung probability na nakuha natin. And ganun lang kumuha ng probability for cumulative distribution function for continuous random, random variables.